Welcome to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be installing a Chase Base Brake Booster Delete on the 240SX right behind me and it's going to make things pretty different in the engine bay and we're finally going to be able to actually have brakes on the car. First step is to go ahead and get rid of these ugly brake lines and this brake booster. As you guys can see it's very rusted and disgusting and it's actually seized up too. Oh, look at that, I'm a genius. We're gonna be replacing it with a Chase Base Brake Booster Delete. Oh, that looks way cooler. That looks so much better. This is a bias valve that's gonna regulate the braking power from the front to the rear. Also, it is going to be where we connect all of our brake lines. And I kind of pretty much can't do this one-handed, but we'll see. Now it is time to take off all the wheels and tires and so then we can get down to the brake system. The thing is, is that we are going to run into a small issue as we do this. All right, everyone. So I think where we left off on the video is we were about the brake pads and the brake cal or calipers, rotors on. Um, but here's what happened. So we kind of ran into a small issue on it. Pulled everything off and I was installing everything and I went to push the caliper in and it was completely seized. So then I went to the auto store and ordered new calipers. Some of them were readily available, some of them I had to wait for, and it was a pretty long wait. But then we ran into a bigger issue of the brake booster delete actually leaking fluid everywhere, ruining part of my paint. But I went on ahead and put some new O-rings on it and then I went on ahead and tightened it up and then we ran into a bigger problem with the leak. saying to me right now? The squeaky thing. The thing that tells you when your pads are low. Because it goes squeak. So here's that bigger problem I was talking about. The threads had no sealant on them whatsoever. So we're redoing all the sealant on the threads. As you can see right here, one port has adequate sealant, but the rest of them, terrible, terrible sealant. So then it was time to take care of the front brakes and as we took off the wheels and tires, we ran into a really weird thing that we were not expecting. Is that a spacer? Yep. Two spacers. <laughs> it's got two spacers. Stacked. That's terrible. No, spacers aren't bad. No, uh, bad spacers are bad. Bad spacers are bad. We don't know if these spacers are good. They are bad. But why are there two stacked on this end? No, two. So you wanna know how they're bad? Yeah. I don't make a good spacer good and a bad spacer bad. Huh. So see this I ring? mean the build quality. Well this is your hub centric ring. Yes. A good spacer is tight on that ring. And that one is ter oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what that makes is... a bad spacer bad. That's terrible. So the spacers I have on my car are hub centric, so they're nice and snug. And they don't move. Do you think these wheels will, we have to keep those spacers on for the wheels to be on? Well, didn't have spacers on that side. There well, there are. There are spacers over there, I just looked. Oh, are there? Well no. Yeah. We can find out. See if they clear the brakes. It's weird that they had two five millimeter spacers stacked. Yeah, that's terrible. Instead of getting one ten. Maybe it's the lug nuts. Maybe that's why you had spacers. Maybe they don't have enough threads. They could not be long enough. These could be extended studs. Yeah. And so the lug nuts aren't long enough to seat all the way against the wheel. So he has the spacers on to push it out like this. And so instead of getting new lug nuts, he got new spacers? That doesn't really make sense. Instead of getting new lug nuts, he got spacers. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just go get new lug nuts? You'd have to get long lug nuts, but that's it. Yeah, but I feel like it's a lot easier than getting four spacers for the front. Spacers are really cheap. Good lug nuts are not. But we'll put the spacers on whenever we're done with this, and then whenever I have time to go to another store again, we'll get, I'll get new lug nuts later. All right, that's the plan. If you 
you've ever bled brakes before, then you know that there's a lot of filling the master cylinder with fluid and pumping the brakes in your foot. It's a really boring process. Okay, time to test out the brakes. I'm gonna get my steering wheel to do that. And uh, I'm excited. It's the first time ever stopping the car without like having to run and catch it. This is not good. I'm gonna hit my heel. Hey! It stopped. It just sounded terrible. <laughs> well, that took forever given the fact that. I think that's like the quickest bleed job I've ever done. Oh, no, no. That was the quickest bleed job, but I mean the brake job overall. It took like a month and a half. Because <laughs> that took forever to come in, and then it was leaking, and I had to figure out the leaks, yep. and then I couldn't figure out the leaks. Yeah, and then, see. yeah, I know. And then the brake calipers weren't available. So yeah, we need to. Well, because we were going to put the pads and rotors in, and then we're like, well, you need new rear calipers, yeah. so you had to get new calipers. And May as well do the front and all that. Right. So between the, the that thing coming in in the mail, then it, uh, then it leaking profusely, and then calipers. the calipers not working, and then waiting on the rotors, and then waiting for the pads, and then doing it all, and then having a day where both of us are available to actually bleed it. That took forever. Yeah, it did, it take, it did take a while, but it's not like we're in a hurry. Car yeah, not, yeah, car's not yeah. drivable anyway, so. Man, I needed those brakes. <laughs> you know what that is, though? What? It's a great reason to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since it took us so We've been long. working on this one video for over like a month and a half. And it's not going to be good enough to like, people are going to be like, that video, that sucked. That was like <laughs> yeah. two months of work. So. Well, that's okay. It is. We, yeah. we made progress. We did it. I'm, I'm proud of ourselves. It has brakes now. It does have brakes. They're OEM it felt, brakes. It honestly felt really weird. Well, kind of. It's like OEM calipers and pads. Right. But well, not I'm saying they're not like. Everything Z32 else. brakes. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Most like, people do like CTSV or Z32. It's brakes. not a big brake kit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's OEM in that sense. But um, you know, one thing, it was really crazy, like actually being able to stop, even though it was just for like you know three feet. How'd the pedal feel? It felt good. It was felt it, fine. Was it, was it difficult? That honestly felt a lot like my truck. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it felt like this, which is kind of crazy that an S14 yeah. feels like my truck. <laughs> but well, I've never braked in a car that didn't have a brake booster so i didn't know yeah i mean I really i can't tell you because it's not right it's not at speed or anything but yeah it's not well anyways <laughs> here we'll run down the street <laughs> yeah. we'll pull it with the truck yeah oh man we get a ticket so we get some weird form of a ticket yeah yeah flat toe on a car that doesn't have a motor <laughs> yeah or two lug nuts on each wheel <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, with that being said, guys, thanks for stopping the channel. Go and subscribe, hit the notification bell, browse the rest of the videos, and I'm... I'm out. I'm Josh.